Hey, Dave, what do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, Mary, I'm already 30 years old. I'm pretty sure I'm grown up. Well, you know what I mean. Have you ever thrilled about exploring different career options? Not really. I'm pretty content with my job as a professional couch potato. That's not a real job, Dave. Hey, it pays the bills. But don't you ever get bored just sitting around all day? Not really. There's always something good on Netflix. Well, I think you should consider branching out and trying something new. Like what? I don't know. Maybe you could become a circus clown. Yeah, right. Like I could juggle or ride a unicycle. Or you could be a professional wrestler. You've got the belly for it. Thanks, Mary. I appreciate the votes of confidence. Seriously though, have you ever thought about pursuing a career in music? Music? You mean like learning how to play an instrument? Yeah, why not? You could be the next Justin Bieber. I think the world has had enough of Justin Bieber. Fine, then how about becoming a chef? You love to eat. Hey, that's not a bad idea. I could cook up a storm in the kitchen. Yeah, and you could call your restaurant Dave's Dinner. I like the sound of that. Who knows, maybe one day, I'll be a world-renowned chef. Keep dreaming, Dave. But seriously, don't be afraid to explore different career options. You never know where your passions may take you. Thank for the advice, Mary. I'll definitely keep that in mind. But for now, I think I'll stick to being a professional couch potato. Suit yourself, Dave. Dialogue 2 A Medical Emergency Excuse me, can you help me? My friend just collapsed, and she's not responding. Oh, my God, of course. Let's go see her. Is she breathing? I don't know. I didn't check. She was standing one minute and then just fell down the next. Okay, let's see. She's not breathing. We need to start CP at dot dot do you know how to do it? No, I don't. Can you show me? Yes, put your hands like this and start compressing her chest. We need to do it fast, every two seconds. 
OK, I'm doing it. What else can I do? We need to call an ambulance. Dot, dot, do you have a phone? Yes, let me call them now. What should I say? Tell them that we need an ambulance right away, that there's a person not breathing and we're doing CPR. OK, I'm on it. I hope they come soon. Me too. Keep doing the chest compressions. I'll check her clues again. After a few minutes. What's going on here? Our friend collapsed and stopped breathing. We started CPR, but we need your help. OK, we'll take over. You did a great job. Let us do our job now. Is she going to be OK? We don't know yet, but we'll do everything we can to help her. You did the right thing by starting CPR and calling for help right away. Thank you for coming so quickly. We were really worried. That's what we're here for. Let us take her to the hospital and we'll update you as soon as we have more information. Dialogue 3. Talking about health and wellness. Mike, have you been taking care of your health lately? Oh yeah, definitely. I have been going to the gym every day and eating a lot of kale. Kale, really? That's all you're eating? Well, yeah, it's really good for you. I really that it's a superfood. Hum, I don't know about that. I mean, it's healthy, but it's not like it can cure cancer or anything. I guess you're right. Maybe I should try something else. Like, what's your secret to staying healthy? Well, I like to do yoga. It's really good for your mind and body. Plus, it's relaxing. Yoga. I don't know if I could do that. I'm not very flexible. It's okay. You don't have to be. There are plenty of beginner classes that can help you ease into it. Okay. Maybe I'll give it a try. But what about food? What do you eat? Well, I like to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables, but I also indulge in some junk food every once in a while. Junk food. I thought that was bad for you. It's, but as long as you're not eating it, all time, it's okay. Moderation is key. Okay. Got it. So, yoga and moderation. Anything else? I also try to get enough sleep. That's really important for your health. Sleep? I don't know about that. I usually stay up pretty late. Well, maybe you should try going to bed a little earlier. You feel better in the morning. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Thanks for the tips, Lucy. No problem, Mike. And don't forget to have a little fun once in a while. Laughter is also good for your health. Ha ha. Okay. I'll try to be funny more often. Just be yourself, Mike. That's funny enough. 
Thank for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.